what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Mo murder, mo murder, mo murder. Welcome to America, where we love to kill. Well, we do some killing out here, man, and kill anybody. It doesn't matter. Anybody can get it at any moment. Of the 10 deadliest school shootings in U.S. history, all but one took place in a town with fewer than 75,000 residents. And the vast majority of those killings took place in towns with fewer than 50,000 people. These are places with low crime rates, good schools, so to speak, and a sense of community. Attributes experts say make small rural suburban towns a breeding ground for the next school shooter. The phenomenon is due to a variety of factors that include easy access to guns and copycat effect of disturbed suburban and small town teenagers emulating each other. Last week, the school shooting at Texas Santa Fe High School devastated the small conservative city where everyone knows their neighbor and just about everyone owns a gun. In small town America, it's said that everybody knows everybody and that's all well and good except when you don't want somebody to know your business. When you do something wrong to somebody or somebody does something wrong to you or that girl dumped you. The whole town knows, and it's like everywhere you go, all eyes are on you. People are looking at you like you're some freak. And this, I do believe, is the catalyst for a lot of small town killings. Now, I had cousins who lived in small town, and anytime I would go there, the whole town knew I was in town. This is before I made a name for myself. This is just the city boy coming to visit the country town <laughs> and everybody knew. And this is the town where these guys fall in love with these little girls and they start dating in kindergarten. I mean, they have at least have a crush on them since kindergarten kindergarten, elementary, you know, middle school, and they just date. The families know everybody, and they're always at each other's homes and stuff. And so they go everywhere together. And when it's a breakup, I mean, they're devastated because everything, they have their whole world invested in this person. So everybody knows your business. Whereas when you're in a big city, you know, you can move around a little bit more and you can be a little bit more inconspicuous. Nobody's staring at you. People got a million things they can stare at. But when you're in that small town, everybody knows what's going on. Or at least the perception is that everybody knows what's going on at all times, right? Also, living in a small town has its advantages in terms of a network and a sense of community, but that can be a double-edged sword. Again, everybody in your business. I also think that in small towns, people can kind of lose themselves. They can lose their identity and they see this whole world out there and they feel confined. They get injured emotionally, they take a gun, boom, 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 air it out. Now the whole world knows who they are. Albeit they'll know them for being a scumbag, trash, a despicable human being. But this is the world we live in. These days, people don't care. They just want attention. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.